Hey everybody, so I'm so excited to be interviewing today Amir Zahavi from Mr. Granita. Sounds a little like margarita. I, I understand there's some connection yeah, between that. There is a combination of margarita and granita, adding a little texture to it. So, so Amir is changing the way that cold drinks are created in the world. Uh, we, we like to you know, meet with Israeli innovators that are, that are tackling a big challenge in the world. What is the big challenge that, that we have with frozen drinks? So I guess sugar would be the number one choice, I would say. Um, you know, going into this uh, company, I, uh, I previously owned an importing and distribution company, and little by little we saw clients asking for better for you alternatives across the board when it comes to snacks, drinks, food, and uh, the one segment that kind of remained uh, untapped was frozen drinks. Just, you know, it took us some time to realize, but it was the technology, the underlying technology that kind of limited what could be served, and we went on a challenge to try to solve that a couple so, years ago. I, I don't go to Starbucks a lot, but once in a while when I have no, you know, it's everything else is closed in the airport and it's the only thing left, I'd go in there and I'd get what, what was called a green tea frappuccino, which is, it's, so it's this cold mixed drink, like it's granulated, right? But, but it always bothered me, you used to talk about sugar, so they have to put in this syrup in order, that's part of the technology, right? So, yeah, the, you know, there's two ways to make frozen drinks, either those automatic machines or kind of a uh, functional like heavy. The automatic with the big spiral. Yeah, with the big spiral. They're called ogre machines where you could go to a Starbucks and have someone make it for you with a blender. Either way, it would take the time and effort. So yeah, and it would eventually require sugar to make. Um, what we were able to do is um, take a lot of the barriers out of the equation. When you want to get a drink, you just want to get your drink, right? right. Um, and there was so much, um, there were so many rules behind how could you make that drink you wanted that we just decided to take them off the table and invented a really uh, a new underlying technology. We really looked at nature uh, and were able to encapsulate what happens at the clouds into a really small confined snow chamber, is what we call it. Um, wrapped it up in a new beverage dispenser type. And, uh, and yeah, we're gonna be introducing a new line of dispensers into the world regarding how you uh, make recipes smarter, how you prepare drinks smarter, especially with the frozen segment. And really how you enjoy drinks in a better, a better way than you're used to today. Any drink could become frozen. There's no rules anymore. You're saying any type of liquid, any kind of drink, it can have alcohol, non-alcohol, yeah. sugar, no sugar. You can, you can take water and, and make it into a frozen slushy or whatever. So yeah, that's, that's what happens in the cloud. So yes, we exactly that. Um, we spend the next the, the past couple of years, um, I guess, dissecting the world of beverage into different families. Uh, Let's we, talk about that for a second. How, how big is your market? I mean, what, what, are you, what are you looking at as far as? So, you know, we went, out at, we went at it, uh, we were looking at the frozen market, and then uh, I guess smart industry professionals opened up our eyes to the fact that we, we intake liquid, so we're really tapping into the beverage market, not necessarily frozen. Uh, to me today, the way that I look at the beverage market today, um, you know, you either have uh, liquid or frozen. Liquid could be either hot or cold. You have different pieces of equipment doing different things. Uh, we wanted to consolidate that. We wanted kind of, uh, you know, the genuine, the core unit that would power up these systems uh, as we move forward into the future to, to have more alternatives, more possibilities without limiting the experience. So if you wanted to have a zero Coke that is semi-frozen, yes, we could have that on, on demand. Like, Which today is difficult to do? Today is a little bit difficult. No sugar, yeah, there's no sugar. It'll take a lot of time. You'll need like a whole batch load. So if you wanted to have one drink and your friend would want to have another drink, you just need, you know, two five gallon pitchers filled with it. So yes, we are in the kind of on demand, better for you alternatives in the beverage space. Um, we believe that people should be able to create and drink what they would like, however they would like. For me personally, I'm a, I love coffee. I don't think I've ever had a frozen coffee, a real one before. The ones you get out of those, right? Um, so how many, you know, how much sugar do you want in it? Like six spoons, seven, that's what you get when you buy it. And I, I drink mine without any sugar, so there's a gap there. And I think we were able to solve it, um, and hopefully we'll see it into the future. Right, and for any of you who are health conscious, and you haven't seen the sugar movie yet, you need to watch the sugar movie. And I guarantee, after you watch the sugar movie, you're only gonna wanna drink frozen drinks from Amir's machines, right? I mean, it's just, they put it in everything, uh, high fructose corn syrup, especially in the United States, but now everywhere in the world, everything is sweetened. You know, it's, it's funny you mentioned that, um, you know, there's a lot of sugar rules today these days, so if you look at the education system, 
obviously you can't serve little kids all that sugar. So what they do is they keep the same syrup, just serve, just serve the smaller portions, right? It's the total number amount of sugar. So yeah, I think this uh, piece of equipment would allow kids to enjoy it, would allow educational facilities. We're going into the food service segment, uh, beginning casual dining. It'll trickle down into convenience, fast food. Um, yeah. And eventually, you know, Caleb, we're going to find it at our homes. I believe um, being able to enjoy any drink we have in our fridge, however we like it. I love it. So you jumped already, already to the where you want to be in five to ten years. Oh, so, so you're no, that's great. That's great. First of all, I love people that have a big vision burning inside of them, and 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 so, and your vision is great. So you see this on on the fridge door, basically. You know, any so you can connect that to whatever drink you want in your home, and and get a slushy or a smoothie or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, we have uh, you know we made sure that um, the core technology is small enough, so. You could have the expanded option put in your backyard next to the barbecue with all the flavors and all the, or you could have, you know, the more miniature version um, going into your fridge door. Sometimes you don't need 50 types of drinks right on your daily. Um, so that's kind of where we're headed. So let's say I have a, I have a Burger King a franchise. You mentioned casual dining. I think some, a restaurant like that, right? So, so, so give me the pitch. I mean, you, you're, the technology is great. You're making the world healthier. You don't have to put sugar in everything. You can do this with, you know, you know, Pepsi Zero or, you know, uh, is, that, is it Pepsi? Is it Coke it's Zero? Coke Zero, Coke Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. Uh, and so, but is your solution affordable? I mean, let, let's, talk, let's talk numbers because that thing with the little arm that goes around looks like pretty low technology, probably not that expensive. So it's pretty low technology, pretty expensive technology. Okay. You got a moving, a lot of moving parts. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go into the whole sustainability discussion, but, you know, it's not sustainable having a motor running all the time right. that mixture stays in there so electricity all day all day oh yeah we're, we're at a time folds below existing kind of market uh alternatives we don't operate until we serve a drink and only then we operate for like 30 seconds right so we sleep and we wait for you so my pitch to a casual dining location um it's not really about the frozen drinks it's about the every casual dining location would have their own many innovation teams and they're, and they're busy with determining what you're going to be eating that night, what you're going to be drinking. Um, that cycle usually takes a long time. What we have in mind is, as I said, uh, maybe having the system is also kind of a, a drink creation lab before it actually serves you that drink. So yes, our pitch is that innovation team could, you know, use the spirits and the concentrates, make their own drink for that night, transmit that to the bar. And that system at the bar would just cater you that beverage that was just made or was made yesterday. Um, if they decided they wanted to serve you the drink that just won the Diageo contest last night, they could probably do that too, as long as they had the right ingredients. We turn recipes into the digital code. So every barista out there, every mixologist that is spending a lot of time behind the bar making amazing things that are not really scalable to another location, I think that's where I see kind of, that's where my heart is, kind of a community or a marketplace where people who just drink their own or choose, you know, whatever they thought was the best alternative out there. That's it's, really smart. So it's programmable, both the, the taste and the, consist the consistency. It's texture that we call texture. it. It's, yeah. It's consistency would always remain the same. So uh, if you were to get uh, five drinks, one after another, get a drink and wait for another five hours, depend on, it doesn't depend on the temperature outside. It doesn't really depend on anything. Once we hard code a recipe, that's what you're going to be getting as long as you have the right ingredients. Everything is smart in this piece of equipment. So aside for making snow, um, we we you know we added a little magic dust and, and took all the all the stuff that wasn't available in previous dispensing machines, smarts, IoT, connectivity. Yeah. That's all part of the that's part, all part of the system. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, thank so, you. So, okay, so you, you're going to tackle the casual dining and then maybe the big drink companies and eventually, you know, General Electric or these other uh, groups that make freezers and refrigerators, so one of these will be in every door. Um, we're with you. We want to see you succeed in that. How can we help you? Now, now's your chance to, you know, speak to our community. What do you need to take your company right now to, to the next level? Thank you. So, um, we're approaching uh, our next round of funding uh, very soon, actually over the next couple of weeks. 
Um, so it's always good to have conversation with uh, you know like-minded professionals that would be interested in joining our journey. Um, By the way, I do know that there are some Arise members of the Arise community that have already invested with you and are very right. happy about it. I'll just ma- I won't mention names, but uh, yeah. I'm happy about that as well. It's a huge vote of confidence for us when you know, someone from the U.S. invests in us in Israel. Um, it's part of what we do, right? Uh, we try to keep everything here in Israel, like manufacturing for now at least. To, you know, we love the blue and white. Um, uh, thing around us. So what could I kind of ask for? I guess, you know, investors is someone, something that we're approaching uh, now. Uh, partnerships, I guess, is something that is kind of more interesting for me on a general note. Um, yes, we're going into casual dining. So, of course, uh, operators in that realm uh, are obviously more than welcome to uh, reach out. Uh, I guess uh, the biggest thing we're going to be going after once we launch is the bigger alcohol companies. Um, to try to have those kind of, you know, uh, we're not going to package our own Until spirits. every margarita is created by Mr. Granita. Until, you know, <laughs> th- th- you see this trend happening, you see a lot of the bigger drinks companies. You know, the hardware is the magic, but um, it's almost as if the magic, like, we've resolved it. And now we're really focusing on the value offering, which yeah. is drinks. Um, so, yeah, so in each segment, we're going to try to partner with kind of a, a leading player. Um, I guess once we scale enough, we're going to, open the doors to accommodate third-party brands, right, within the same system that we have. So we're not looking to consolidate. We're not looking to control the market. We're looking to open up opportunities. We're looking to really allow creation around this world. So um, we've been at it for about three years, formerly a couple of years before that, uh, off the radar, trying to get the technology to work. And um, I've had so many of those drinks as we moved. And, and it's really a better experience, like in my opinion, and from the people that have, we have a lot of friends and family who have been investors. So. They've all seen, felt, tasted. It's a superior feeling, and I feel that going into the future, like I wouldn't want to go back. You know, I would love for this possibility to be available to me wherever I go, and that's what I do when I wake up in the morning, try to make that happen. Fantastic. I, I feel the passion. That's, that's amazing. So uh, for all of our friends out there in the Arise community, the Arise Alliance, um, you've heard this amazing story of, of Amir and his company, Mr. Granita. Uh, I would definitely uh, look into, especially if you're in the food or beverage market or casual dining, uh, restaurants, uh, this, I think this technology is going to take over the world of cold drinks. Uh, this is the future of, of, of frozen drinks. So make sure you, you learn more about Mr. Granita. Connect to Amir. You'll be able to find his, all the information in the text of, of this video. And uh, yeah, we look forward to, uh, to seeing what happens, Amir. And thank you, everybody, for tracking with us. And we wish you only success. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. There are many small businesses in Israel that are creating amazing products that never make it to the shelves of the stores where you shop. Unfortunately, there's an insidious campaign growing around the world calling to boycott Israel. And these small business owners see their potential market shrinking from day to day. What can we do about this? So Arise exists to make meaningful connections between friends like you in the international community and the economy of Israel. When you sign up to become a member of the Arise Alliance, we will send you on a quarterly basis a gift box filled with cosmetic products, culinary products, fashion products, amazing stuff made in Israel. Your family's gonna love this. Your favorite time every quarter is gonna be to stand around and discover what did you receive this quarter from Israel. And it's just a great way to weave Israeli products and the reality of Israel into your everyday life. Make sure you become a member today and help support small businesses and create jobs in Israel. Thank you.